Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here. And I've got to tell you about something that took place on fake news MSNBC last night. Uh, it took place on uh, Hardball, uh, the show that's hosted by Chris Matthews. Uh, Matthews had a guest on by the name of Malcolm Nance. And uh, Mr. Nance uh, went on to compare Trump supporters to members of ISIS. And uh, Chris Matthews did not seem to object to the point uh, that Mr. Nance made. Now, uh, of course, ISIS is the deadly, sinister terrorist group uh, that for years was wreaking havoc uh, over in uh, the Middle East until it was uh, President Trump and his administration uh, that defeated uh, the ISIS caliphate, worth noting, since it's uh, Trump supporters being compared to this group. It was actually Trump and his administration uh, that wiped out uh, the caliphate. But uh, ISIS is a uh, murderous group of uh, terroristic individuals. And uh, when it comes to Trump supporters, of course, uh, the overwhelming majority of us have never murdered even one person and have never engaged in even one act of terror. I mean, for Trump supporters, for the most part, we are very peaceful individuals. Not all, but most of us. We are very peaceful, law-abiding folks who actually want to bring everyone together. Uh, I mean, keep in mind, the argument that we're making here is, how about we all follow the laws on the books? And how about all of us U.S. citizens, regardless of our politics, whether we're Democrat, Independent, or Republican, how about we all put politics aside and do what is clearly best for the United States of America and its law-abiding, tax-paying citizens? I mean, really, I'm sure some of the lefties out there will disagree, but for the overwhelming majority of us Trump supporters, we are trying to bring people together here in the United States uh, around the rule of law and, and around what is best for all of us U.S. citizens here in our shared country. I, when you have somebody like this uh, this Malcolm Nance guy on MSNBC uh, just saying something absolutely absurd and disgusting like Trump supporters are just like members of ISIS, uh, I mean, it, it is a totally baseless demonization. And it's not uncommon on the left. Uh, there have been countless baseless demonizations of President Trump and of us uh, supporters of President Trump's over the past, what, four plus years now since Trump entered the political realm. When you hear a baseless demonization of an individual or of a group of people, and there is no attempt to actually argue uh, that individuals or that group's uh, policy preferences, uh, the substance of what it is they're saying, all it shows is that you have somebody who is totally triggered, uh, in this case, this Malcolm Nance guy on MSNBC, totally triggered uh, because he knows that uh, President Trump is uh, succeeding, that uh, President Trump's supporters voted for Trump and got the United States of America back on the right track where we have a president who's actually looking out for and willing to always fight for the interests of the United States of America and its citizens. And this Malcolm Nance guy clearly just hates President Trump hates the people who got President Trump elected, and he wants to say something bad about him, but he can't actually argue President Trump or President Trump's supporters' policy stances because he knows at the end of the day, President Trump and his supporters are on the right side. They've got the facts to back up what they're saying, and Trump's policies have worked successfully for the United States of America in the near three years he's been president. So what does he do? He totally ignores uh, policy conversations altogether, this Malcolm Nance, and resorts instead to just one baseless demonization. And uh, when somebody is only willing to make a baseless demonization of an individual or group, not willing to even uh, discuss uh, their policy and try and refute uh, what it is they're saying, clearly an individual like this, like this uh, Malcolm Nance, is absolutely pathetic and has no argument whatsoever. So there is no reason why anyone should take the Malcolm Nances of the world seriously. And that's all the time that we have for today. A happy Thanksgiving to all of you. More of the John Muir Show Monday and each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.